The question is the motion be agreed to, and I give the call to the member for Mackellar. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I'd like to thank the member for Newcastle. I would like to join her in um, her condemnation of state government regulation that has made the management of our coastal areas so very difficult. Um, what the Keneally government did in the late 2010-2011 um, period in absolutely destroying the capacity of local communities to protect their private land and community land from seas and coastal erosions is, I think, one of the great untold stories of government incompetence that we have seen in Australia. Um, the peer, in, in my electorate of McKellar, Madam Deputy Speaker, we have a situation much not unlike the member for Newcastle, where you have um, impact zones that actually go as far back as major public roads. And it, does, it, and it is not allowed um, either the local community or private um, citizens to construct um, seawalls that protect not only community infrastructure and transport infrastructure, but their own homes. I mean, it is just absolutely incomprehensible that the Keneally government in 2010 would have allowed this to happen. My electorate of McKellar, which is on the northern beaches, which is a far prettier electorate than the member for Newcastle's, but we can have that argument. We can have that argument later. We can have that argument later. Maybe we can move competing motions to that effect. Um, is an electorate which is home to some of the most exquisite beaches and coastlines in Australia. I've lived on the northern beaches all my life, and it is a privilege to represent the people who call this beautiful coastline home. I rise today to convey the concerns of my electorate surrounding coastal erosion and its relation to climate change. There are two pressing issues for the people of my electorate, but they can rest assured knowing that this government is taking those issues incredibly seriously. I remain confident that the Morrison government's policies will continue to protect the 59,000 kilometres that make up Australia's splendid coastline. The challenge is constant, although our problems are continually changing as a result of coastal erosion. A stretch of coastline in my electorate that spans the sweeping beaches of Collaroy to Narrabeen has been officially identified as Australia's third most at-risk coastal area. The beaches there have become particularly vulnerable to extreme weather conditions, such as sand drift and significantly receding shorelines, compromising the safety of beachgoers and seafront property owners alike. And as I mentioned earlier, the, mo the most uh, major road in my electorate is Pittwater Road, and the storms that we had in 2016 were literally only stopped from sweeping away large parts of this road because people's houses got in the way. And, and swimming pools in some cases. As a result of a particularly destructive storm in 2016, several measures have been put in place to reduce erosion in the interest of ensuring our community's um, safety. Seawalls, sand replenishment and beach nourishment are all now integrated in the coastal management plan. For this motion to state that there is no leadership on the issue of coastal erosion or climate change is just wrong. This government has a number of measures and practical policies to ensure that our coasts are secure, the climate is looked after and the integrity of our economy remains strong. A practical Morrison government climate change initiative has been the $2.5 billion investment in the Emissions Reduction Fund. The government has also announced a new $3.5 billion climate solutions plan, another initiative that will not only ensure Australia meets its 2030 Paris commitment, but it will in turn slow the advance of erosion. The Climate Solution Plan will contribute to the highly regarded Environment Restoration Fund, which will assist local communities restore ecological damage. This fund, in addition to the billion dollars the Coalition has invested in the next phase of the National Land Care Program, all help to protect and preserve Australia's flora and fauna. Thankfully, our community has largely recovered from the devastating 2016 storm. Yet many of my constituents remain understandably concerned, not least because they are so committed. I'm very fortunate that my electorate office is just a stone throw away from Narrabeen Beach, a refreshing yet soothing place to walk or think. Um, or with friends and family, my daughter too loves the beach. The residents care very much about our beaches, which was reflected in a marked absence of litter or marine debris that many other beaches and coastlines find too familiar. I shall continue to work with the federal and state government so I can remain confident 
that our government is making strides to host coastal erosion and protect our exceptional coastline, a coastline which distinguishes us as a beautiful... For his